Hi all, welcome to Heights to Fly. Today we are discussing about real numbers and their decimal expressions. What are real numbers? These are simply the combination of rational and irrational numbers in the number system. On previous classes we have mostly discussed about rational, what are rational numbers, what are irrational numbers. Let's go to the representation or decimal expression of real numbers. Consider a number 10 by 3. Okay, let's do the continuous division. 3, 3, 9, 1, 0, 3, 9, 1, 0, 3, 9, 1, 0. The process is continuing. And here the remainder is 1. Continuously we are getting the remainder 1. And the value of 10 by 3 is 3.333 etc. Okay. Let's go to another example. 7 by 8. 7 divided by 8. 0. Its value 8. 64, 6, 0, 7, 56, 4, 0, 5, 4, 0. Here the remainder value is 0 and the result is 0 0.875. Another example, 1 divided by 7. divided by 0 5 again 1 7 3 0 2 etc here the pattern is repeating here the pattern is repeating 7 1 4 the pattern 1 4 is repeating here 1 4 2 8 5 7 is repeating here so the answer is 0 0.1 4 2 8 5 7 and the and the remainder is 1 1 after 1 0 it is again repeating the pattern 1 0 7 3 0 etc the answer we can represent it as 1428.57 again 1428.57 oh, ok let's discuss about the results we can categorize these two these three divisions into two first first case the remainder become zero the remainder becomes zero such numbers are called terminating. Terminating. That is the case 7 by 8. The remainder becomes 0. We can call 7 by 8.875 is a terminating number. Remainder becomes 0. Such numbers are called terminating number. And the second case remainder never becomes zero such numbers are called non terminating non terminating recurring recurring means repeating non terminating repeating the other two examples are under this category 10 by 3 is equal to 3.33 etc and uh, 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857 etc. These two are 
and other category non terminating recurring or non terminating repeating okay uh, so we can classify the real numbers into when we are representing in decimal expressions we can categorize it into terminating number and non terminating recurring numbers let's go to some examples this case show that show that 3.142678 is a rational number that means the question indicates we have to represent it in the form of p by q where p and q are integers we have to what is the explanation of rational number a number which can be represented in the form of p by q where p and q are integers q not equal to 0 okay the number is 3.142678 we can represent it in the form of p by q like this 3 2, 6, 7, 8. Here the decimal numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <coughs> when dividing by, by this number, we get 3.142678. This is a this rational expression of or p by q expression of this number. Let's go to another type of example. Another type of example, the previous one was a sum of B, uh, easy question. The next question is, show that 0.333 etc. We can represent this as 0.3 the bar, whole bar, 0.3 bar. That means the value of 3 is repeating, can be expressed in P by Q, uh, P not equal to 0. Okay, let's take the value x is equal to 0.333, etc. Then, here the decimal number, uh, the repeating number is 3. That is 3 bar. So, we have to take a value 10. We have to take a value 10 because a single digit is repeating. A single digit is repeating. So, 10x is equal to 3.333 etc. Okay, then we have to rewrite this statement in this form which is equal to 10x is equal to 10x is equal to some value plus x some value plus x so x is 0.333 and we know that how it will become 10x 3.333 here the value of x is 3 that we can write the value is as 3 so we, we can rewrite it as 10x plus 3 plus x bring this x to the next 9x 3 x is equal to 3 by 9 which is equal to 1 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 3. When we are dividing 1 divided by 3, then we will get 0.333. So, this is the P by Q expression of 0.333. Okay, once again, we take the initial value as x, then we represent it in the form of 10x. Why we take 10? Because the value 3 is repeating. So, we take 10, a single digit 10. 10x. 3.333 we have to express it in this form 10x is equal to 3 plus x 3 plus x and we solve it next question similar question show that 1.272727 etc is equal to we can represent it in the form 1.27 bar in form p by q Form p by q. Let's take x is equal to 1.2727, etc. Here the repeating value is 27, so we have to take 100. 100x is equal to 127.2727, etc. 
and we can we have to rewrite 100 x as s plus x1.2727 so 100x is equal to this value we have to rewrite this one the x is this so 126 so we will get 127 plus 2727 this is the technique 100x plus x then x is equal to 126 x is equal to 126 divided by 99 when we can cut it by 9 then we will get 14 divided by 11 okay it is equal to 1.27 another question Same, same method 0.2353535 etc which is equal to here the repeating values are 3535 three, bar but express it in the form of p by q let's take x is equal to 0 0.3535 three, etc yeah, the repeating values are 3, 5, so we have to take the value 100, 100, 2 digits. So we have to take 100x is equal to 23.5353535. Then we have to rewrite it as plus 0.23535. This is the value. So 23.3. Okay, when we add these two numbers, we will get this one. So, 100x is equal to 23.3 plus x. 99x is equal to 23.3. Here, there is a one decimal point. We have to convert it. 23 to divided by 10. 233 divided by 10 is equal to 23.3. Then again, x is equal to 233 divided by 99 into 10. 99 into 10, which is equal to 233 divided by 990. That's okay. 0.235. Okay. Uh, another question. We discussed three examples how that we have to represent it in the form of P by Q. Another question, another method. Find an irrational number. An irrational number between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. 1 by 7 is equal to we know the value. And we are dividing 1 divided by 7. We get the value 0.142857. And the same pattern is repeating. So we can represent it as like this. When we divide 1 divided by 7, we get the value 142. In previous cases, we had discussed about this 142857. Then again 142857, the pattern is repeating. So we have, we have to write it as like this. And 2 by 7, which is equal to 2 into 0.142857 this is equal to 142857 into 2 we get it as 4175882 so 0 0.2857 1 4 to the whole bar okay what is 2 by 7 is equal to this value 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. You have to find the irrational irrational number between this. We have we can select a lot of numbers. For example, 0 0.14, 0 0.152857. This is the number between these two values. This is the number which lies between these two values. Another number 1, 6, 
2857 we can select a lot of numbers or we can find a lot of numbers between these two irrational numbers so we discussed about real numbers and their decimal exp expressions so we can categorize uh, this kind of numbers into two terminating numbers and non terminating recurring numbers then uh, we discussed different examples to express a number in the form of p by q on previous class uh, we discussed about what are real numbers and rational numbers on next class we will discuss more about this type of examples so thank you thank you for watching thank you for watching subscribe and share for new videos thank you for watching subscribe and share for new videos